Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Bob's Mods campaign in Factorio. So these guys produce 765 kilowatts compared to the basic ones, which produce 510. 765 divided by 510, they make 50% more power exactly. So, that's good. On their own, steam engines don't generate pollution. So, basically all that happens now is we've got 7.6 megawatts worth of available power in the same space. So we saved space at the cost of a bunch of raw res resources to turn them into steel. So we had to make... I had to upgrade them, you know. It requires a regular one, plus a whole bunch of steel. So it's just more iron consolidates your space usage. And there's that feel of, like, upgrading, which is kind of nice. So, to power all of these, I wonder if, um... I don't really know exactly how the math works, like, on how... How many of these are running right now? One, two, three, four. That's it. Just four of them. Well, that's nice. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So only four are actually on. Which I believe means that only four of them are actually generating any pollution down here. Which is very nice. I'm a little concerned right now about the amount of bullets that are in the northeast turrets, so I'm gonna go check on those. Let's pick up a little bit of fuel, in case any of the things need them. We're not making enough green circuits because we don't have any of these, because we don't have any iron gear wheels, because... We don't have enough iron, because... Because why? Because you're taking it all? Well, coincidentally, you guys should be shutting down soon. I'll tell you what, just just make the top row with those things, then you'll shut down. I will upgrade a few more of our smelters here, since we do clearly have enough for an electric mining drill and electric mining drill. So that's six. The equivalent of six mining drills, we need twelve stone furnaces or six steel furnaces, which is exactly what we have. So I kind of feel like these guys should be able to keep up, but they're not, so for some reason we'll just upgrade these. We have the, res we have the resources for them now, so it's not really a big deal. I'll just start upgrading all these guys. When they burn, they'll be more efficient. Okay, um, solar energy. Oh, right, I was going to check on the east east side base. East side of the base. Still 24 rounds there, 25. They're doing totally fine on rounds. When they get attacked, they're barely getting attacked at all. So, what that comes down to then, I would say, is that I've done a really good job of not getting crazy with my pollution generation. And avoid, like, actually pissing them off. Needs more turrets. 300 piercing rounds, not bad. Grenades are cool. I like grenades. I only want to carry around one stack, though. Why are you still struggling so much? Just no iron getting through, huh? Well, between the gears and the, uh... I guess it makes sense. I could make more. I mean, we could, we could add another electric mining drill. Oh, the pollution, man. Looking forward to this pollution. Now, normally in Vanilla Factorio, you might be able to go for some, like, really early modules to reduce your power usage and everything and reduce pollution. But that doesn't work. Modules are much more complicated in Bob's Mod. 
Like I said, ages and ages ago, I need to start working on blue science already, otherwise I know I'm going to fall behind. So let's start playing with some of the new stuff again. So we've got an electrolyzer. We've got a compressor. We've got a chemical furnace. So let's get some of the things we need. We need a we need to do a pump jack. We need to do an electrolyzer. We need a oil refinery. We need a couple chemical, like five chemical plants probably. We're gonna need a couple chemical furnaces. I'm gonna want some pipe. How do you like this crazy factory, huh? Look at that, it's so disorganized, isn't it great? People with OCD are like dying right now. It's awesome. I'll right, we'll put all of our alien goodies in here. Um, ba ba bum. Alright. So, we've been doing this tin thing for a while. We've got quite a few tin bars. We need to start making... Ugh, it's so complicated to try to get this all done on belts. Like, I've just now gotten to the point, after playing the game for who knows how many hours, where I'm, like, fairly decent at doing, like, a lot of belt-based patterns in vanilla. But then Bob's mod ruins it all. It's not nearly as simple. Bob's mod is very complicated. Alright. We still just run in four of those guys. One, two, three, four, five. We're up to five now. Five of them at roughly half of our power generation. So I bet instead of 13, now we only need about 10. That's interesting. Something is holding up solar energy, and I think that something is iron. I think we need to start smelting more iron. And the pollution is just going to have to happen. Between making all these things... Yeah. It's just that I've got the I've got the science per generation at the very end of the bus. It's not even really a bus, but it is kind of. Now that we have better electrical poles, we can get rid of some of these. Using regular electric mining drills here. So that's three, six, seven. Why don't we go up to eight? But let's use the large area mining drills instead. I'd like to mine this this node a little bit more evenly. So we will go with one here. I guess like one here. Okay, so it's a small increase. We were at seven. Um, now we're at eight, but we also had a, a regular electric miner, which was kind of not very pollution friendly. You know, way too much steel production. Let's 
go to a large area mining drill, reduce that one's pollution by a little bit, spread out the mining rate. So I feel pretty armored up. I've got lots of weapons and stuff. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this junk. Old things. We do have 10 more steam engine Mark IIs. We could upgrade power, but that's just begging for the aliens to come attack. I want to finish the wall before I do that. The Great Wall of Factorio. These don't belong here. Filthy trees. Okay, um, plenty of trees down there. That was from when I blew up the wall, not not because of a biter attack. What is stopping solar energy? Is it, is it literally just the, uh, the lack of iron? Well, iron should be coming in pretty well now. Well, once we get all these pipes, apparently. We gotta stop putting stuff at the front of the bus. The front of the production chain, but I do need pipe, so you know I want it being made. And we've got a nice supply of transport belt, nice supply of gears. So it seems justifiable. All right, so solar is going to be the next thing we do to try to reduce power consumption, but beyond that, I need to start doing. Blue science. Let's just let's just pretend like we're already there. We need to have blue science right now, and start working toward it before I get totally screwed. Can't even click on it. Damn it. Um. Well, I know from memory that we need it, we need electronic circuit boards, which requires circuit boards, basic electric components, basic uh, regular electronic components, and solder. So let's start with circuit boards. Circuit boards require tin. Ferric chloride solution and a phenolic board. A phenolic board can be made with wood or synthetic wood plus resin. Resin is made by taking raw wood or by making heavy oil into resin. So you can see how this is going to be a little complicated. <laughs> Where do we want to start with this whole process? We've got oil all over the place over here. Unfortunately, it's to the northeast. You know what, let's use the oil that's over there. I actually find with Bob's Mod that I don't typically turn on uh, advanced oil processing very early, because you want the heavy oil. Well, these are some pretty crappy oil fields. 149%, that's not terrible. Alright, let's get some heavy, let's get some oil going. And we're just going to immediately... We're not going to store this stuff. We're just going to immediately turn it into things. So, um, heavy oil. We're going to use a chemical plant to turn you into... I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have two chemical plants. One that's going to run like this. One right here. First things first, make resin. If you don't have any need to make resin... Then you are allowed to make um, synthetic wood. I don't have synthetic wood enabled yet. Probably comes from one of these things somewhere in here. Is it water bore? I don't even remember what it, what it is that requires. It can't be advanced oil processing, is it? No. It's not pump jacks, it's not these things. It's not pla it is, it's plastics. Damn it. I need plastics to be able to make synthetic wood. Okay, well, that's what's going to go there then. And the other ones for now I suppose will just turn into um other things. <laughs> you know, things. Obviously. What can we do with the petroleum for now? For now, we can just turn it into solid fuel. What a waste of resources, right?
we're going to end up with way more solid fuel than we ever know what to do with. This one we're going to turn into liquid fuel. Sorry, uh, we're going to take, yeah, we're going to take light oil, turn it into liquid fuel. Now nah, we're not. No. You can turn liquid fuel and then you can make plastic and then with the plastic you can put liquid fuel into petroleum, like, like cans. We don't have the ability to do it yet, but it, uh, you can have 150 megajoules of energy in a single unit of storage, which is crazy. It's so much. Um, we'll just, we'll just regu make regular solid fuel for now. And I guess we're storing solid fuel. Although I'd rather be burning the solid fuel. So how can we set it up so that these things have priority over the coal? So this is where solid fuel gets connected in. And now we want to make it so that the coal merges in on the sides if there is no solid fuel. But the solid fuel needs priority. So the, the merge point for the coal then needs to be past it. Why don't we just do it like this? We'll something like that. If for some reason the solid fuel is not sufficient, the coal should merge in. And we do have resin being made with the heavy oil. And the heavy oil is in priority position over the what will become synthetic wood so let's just do um, this will be where we make the phenolic boards so we'll put that there phenolic board that is actually made in an assembly machine so that is a phenolic board from resin and synthetic wood next thing we need then is plastics so we can do synthetic wood and then we'll have our phenolic boards. Yay. At the same time, though, we're going to also want to tie into the oil industry the ability to make regular boards as well. We want to be able to make, um, from the synthetic wood, we want to make these. We want to make wooden boards. No. It's, where is it? It's not showing up on the list because I don't have it researched yet. Damn it. Synthetic wood, and then, yeah. Okay, well, soon. So for now, none of this stuff really matters, but... I'll just put that stuff there. Alright, so we'll get plastics done. Let's go finish the wall. That's the next big job. Alright, well actually, um, yeah, I'm going to take a break here. But, in the next video, we'll finish the wall. And then we will start trying to get the actual oil stuff going. We could start harvesting some some sulfur, which I'll actually admit this is the very first time I've actually played with the sulfur and sulfur fields enabled. You have to set that up in the Bob Zor's settings. Normally you don't get sulfur fields. But I wanted to try it. What am I doing? Why am I chopping down trees like a like a plebeian. All the aliens in the entire planet just heard that and they're like, what the 
What was that? And now they're going to come and attack us and kill us. And we're not going to like it very much. Need more walls. Need more guns. That's what we need. Okay, cool. Alright, I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.